Okay, good. I was had, was frozen there for a second, but I'm good. Um, so the first thing I want to do is talk, talk a, a little bit uh, about, about, you know, what it is that makes players successful and I kind of title this, what do successful players have in common? Um, I get asked uh, some version of that question quite a, quite a bit. Um, and so this will be kind of the boring uh, talking, lecturing part of this, if you will. Uh, where I will, uh, I'll just give you some thoughts I have on that and some traits that I see that successful players all seem to have in common. Uh, and then um, I sent, uh, I posted uh, uh, earlier today or last night, I can't remember when, but I posted a couple shoes um, that I'd go through a couple examples, uh, one being a strong side and another one, I'll show a couple different uh, triggers that, that a lot of people often look for and play. So that's, you know, that's what I'm looking to cover tonight. And so um, without further ado, let's talk a little bit about, you know, what are some of the characteristics um, that I see in, in, you know, professional players or very serious players. Uh, and I've tried to think of the ones that, that I would say of all the players I've met who have done very well, that they, all, they seem to exhibit all of these in one fashion or another. So a couple things I'll start with. Uh, first is they employ a consistent bet selection process, very disciplined and patient, and they don't bet every hand. Now, what I mean by this is, you know, most, I think most sort of professionals have narrowed their game down to having just a few preferred plays or what we might call triggers that they are looking for. And that player will patiently wait and they'll wait to see their preferred play set up in the shoe and only then do they bet. The player knows that his best triggers, um, well, he knows what his best triggers are because he has tracked them in the past. He may have statistics on how they've performed. And while he's playing, he looks exclusively for them and he's not distracted by a lot of the other things going on in a shoe. Therefore, the bets he chooses to make are very consistent with his plan. Bets are not made on a whim or based on a hope that a trend would continue forever. Of course, this approach, like any, doesn't guarantee a win. Nothing is a sure thing. But he knows the history of that trigger suggests he has a long-term advantage when it does appear in the shoe. He is looking for that trend or bias to hold just long enough to profit from it. It may be gaining just a unit or two um, and then waiting for the next opportunity. So if you compare kind of that approach to the game to let say, you know, an, an amateur, for lack of a better word, uh, just to make the contrast, um, who, you know, has studied up on NOR and sits down at a table to play. And let's say that that amateur decides they're going to play uh, System 40. So some great words of wisdom by uh, our professional player way too fast. See the rest of the masterclass by joining our premium forum at BeatTheCasino.com.